Hi everyone, in this video I'll walk you through how to run solar radiation or irradiance analysis using Climate Studio. I'm going to use the same building geometry that we had before but run the simulation for only one story of the building. Already added the building's exterior walls, louvers for the south facade and ground surface in Grasshopper. So now let's put together the analysis components. In the Climate Studio tab under Climate Setup, select Scene Layer Component as well as Material. On the Material Component, you can browse through the list of the materials. Since this component is going to define the attributes of the ground surface, I'll insert asphalt in the material window. Then you'll uh, need a panel to define the scene layer name. So now I'll do the same thing for the rest of the building, except for the material, which I'll assign a white surface for the building exterior walls and give those surface corresponding names in the panel.
Okay, next I'll drop model maker from the same tab on the canvas. We need to provide two inputs, scene layers and sensor grids. To add scene layers, we need to merge all of the scene layer components that we made. And now we need to make the sensor grids. Under Lighting Setup tab, drop uh, Construct Climate Studio Analysis Surface on Canvas. And using Merge Component, I'll insert geometries to the uh, Analysis Surface component. Next, I'll define the spacing between each sensor on the analysis surface. So now you need to give analysis surface component a list of all of the geometry names you are using. It's very important that you make the, this list in the same order that you connected the, the scene layers and geometries to those merge components. Okay, last step here is to connect sensor grid to model maker. To be able to run the simulation, we need run climate studio radiation map component, which is under lighting simulation tab. Drop it on canvas. Define a name for your simulation. Connect model to model. Define the location of your building. And finally, connect a button to run and set hourly result to true if you'd like to have more grinded outputs. Click on the Run button to run the analysis. Now, in order to visualize and read the data, we need Result File component, Grid Visualization, and this group of components, which, all, which uh, all, all are available for you on, on the Canvas file.
In the second part of the video, I'll add Louvers geometry to the simulation script. To do that, we need scene layer component, material component, and a panel to define the names. Don't forget to separate the first louver with the rest of the louvers as the first louver will always be exposed to the sun but the rest of the louvers will have partial shadows on them. So now I'll add Louvers geometry to the merge component that we use for other geometries and also do the same thing for the for those thin layers. And don't forget to add Louvers name to analysis surface ID. To keep it short, I'll just add the rest for the rest of the Louvers. One more thing that I realized I didn't do is to flatten both of the merge component outputs. Uh, so now I run the simulations. That concludes this video and thanks for watching.